No, listen, I just wanted to. Y'all are not ready. All the way live from your screens. Uh, what's up? I'm the True J1. Um, this is my friend Charlie, aka Awoken Dart. And what we had going on was we had the concept of um, basically his fiance actually came up with it. <laughs> she wanted us to do something crazy, kind of like uh, uh, a Venus flytrap eating a rainbow. What we decided to do basically was um, we decided to go with the old school Mario pipe and then we wanted to have the piranha plant from Super Mario, but kind of our own interpretation of it. And the story behind it is that he has this infinity triangle in his hand. And basically what he's doing is he's holding it up to the sun because he's hungry. So he's using that rainbow as like energy. And with that energy, he's creating this portal over here, which is manifesting, you know, like water and another planet. But I mean, it was just something to kind of incorporate our ideas together. I have a lot of like thick lines and I like vibrant colors. He likes to do very like out the world, beautiful type of stuff. You should really check out his artwork and his page. But um, this was our collaboration and it came out pretty well. So this is my, this is my second time working over here. The first one that I did was, uh, uh, at, um, what was it? Colonial Drive, I think, at the Foho restaurant. Um, I can't remember how many how many murals have you done? Oh, I've done a lot of murals. Yeah, he's done quite a. This few. is like my fourth mural inside here. I have another one that's an owl I did for Puerto Rico when the hurricane happened, um, and I did that big one that's over there. Um, but yeah, he we was at an art event, and we met. The universe put us together. You know what I mean? <laughs> So when you when you manifest in one stuff, it, it comes to you, man. So he, he came in and he said, "Man, I'm hungry for murals." I'm like, "I like hungry people." <laughs> so I said, "Let's do it." Literally, he didn't know. I was like, "I had a spot." So we came through and yeah, we, we gave it all we got, just trying to do stuff that no one else has done before. I want people to consciously wake up. And we're all artists. That's the thing. It's whether you choose to really commit to your gift. You know what I mean? So you got a gift, you got to commit to it. And everything else is a distraction. So I just want people to see my art and make them, they hope they're like, I want to doodle something. Or if they're like, I could do that. I hope you can do that. I hope you can do better than me. I hope someone comes up like, I can do something 20 times bigger than that. Please. I, I, I think people find you. Awoken Dark on Instagram, website, wokenart.com. Um, I'm you put a Woken Dark, you don't know see me. So True J1, you can find me on Facebook. I have a good Facebook page and you can also find me on Instagram. You said, oh Jawan, J1 Art. J1 Art. Okay. <laughs> yeah. The True J1. Caster, um, amazing artist, as you can see his work right here. <laughs> so um, he introduced me to him, and you tell them how. Yeah, so basically, I moved here from Philly. So I'm from North, and I just, you know, when I came down here, I said, this is what I'm gonna do. <laughs> Literally, I said, this is what I'm gonna do. I had another brand up North. I was starting to woke and art. I went through a spiritual awakening. I was like, this is what I'm gonna do. I saw this from the street, no lie. Parked my car, walked up to it. You couldn't get in, so then they let me in, and I said, man, how do I get on here? He's like, you got a black book? And I'm like, yeah, showed him my art. And then, bam, he's like, well, what do you want to do? So I did one piece that was over here, and that was it, man. Once I did that, that blew, blew their minds away. That piece was like a bunch of these. I had uh, a black hole swallowing the solar system with the pyramids of Giza and the Nile. It was, it was dope, man, it was dope. And a portal coming, ripping through the wall. It was, it was intense for the first wall, but I wanted to go in with a band. And that got me the following on Instagram. And that made me be like, maybe this is what I need to do. And it was, because now I got 10,000 following on Instagram. And
Uh, what do you love most about what you do? Uh, when you have a gift and you're able to channel that energy and you can become in tune with your inner light, that sort of resonating frequency and that vibration, it's like a warm feeling and that's what I go for. That's when I feel that warmth, that's when I know I'm doing everything that I need to do. Uh, artists in the community or globally uh, that you would want to work with, who would it be? I guess I would have to say uh, there's a really famous and talented artist on uh, Instagram. His name is Absorb. I think he's one of the most talented people I've ever seen. Now granted, in terms of doing murals, I guess I would have to say uh, 10 hundred. I love 10 hundred. I think his work is amazing. He does some really dope stuff. 10 hundred is an artist from Seattle. Um, he originally started just doing like sketches and whatnot after he went back home, but then he started doing a lot of murals. He also does work on like snowboards, t-shirts, jeans, like you name it. I want to keep doing work with this local artist right here because <laughs> this boy is awesome. Thank you. Um, thank you. I want to also do work with um, Atomic. I don't know, I think maybe we could do like a fruit salad or something like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, he got the oranges down pat. I don't know, maybe I'll bring the pears or something. Yeah. Um, and I really want to work with Sheffield. And I used to get, peel his stickers off of the signs in New York. <laughs> <laughs> so I really want to work with Obey. I think that if the, you know, one of my goals that will come into fruition is I will have a collab project with, with Sheffield and, you know, but yeah. You know, what type of help to help you further your art and what you love to do? I guess I would have to say more opportunities for people of all ranges who want to do art to be able to, uh, I guess, just work more within it, the community. You know, if they can get anything in buildings, if they can get anything in schools, if they can get anything in hospitals, whatever the case may be. Because the one thing I noticed about artwork is that when it comes to colors, when it comes to, you know, the foundations of what somebody's doing, everybody has their own creative way or their own style that you know can broaden somebody else's perspective because at the end of the day that's what art is about is perspective so the more people that are out there doing stuff the more that they will inspire other individuals and everybody can be creative and do something that is new and different and pops off the page you know and give somebody else inspiration in whatever platform that may be so if there's any investors out there C capital or any sort of people that are trying to support local artists I do murals I do t-shirts I do custom clothing I do just about anything if you have something that you want to manifest into this reality then you need to go and you need to follow me and let's have it come into fruition if you are artist if you are a local citizen if you streaming through your profiles take a second of breath fresh air and like and share because if you don't do that then you cap it all day Any local galleries you guys are in as well or? So we're working on a soon, we're working on a collaboration gallery at City Arts. That should be in the next couple of months. Um, I'm looking at, uh, we, I'm always doing events. Uh, keep out for a Wilkin Art event, Black Ice event happening locally. Um, that happens at least once a month um, at Bombshell Taverns. Uh, but yeah, stay tuned. Definitely doing a lot of stuff 2019. I got seven murals I'm doing in Orlando. He's going to be helping me there too, Orlando yeah, Health. I so Orlando I just got a grant to do seven murals inside the hospital. So doing some things. What types of methods uh, did you use to like, you know, progress or, you know, perfect your art? I guess I could say the, the one thing that really helped me was finding my top five favorite artists and getting little bits of things that I really love from them along with my own style and kind of just having a big mixing pot of you know something that is your own because as you continue to work your own style will develop more and more so find your favorite artist that you like pick one thing that you really like specifically from that artist and from there just make a collage and make your own style that's the best advice I can give. Uh -huh. it's yeah. simple God YouTube <laughs> okay. Let's go. Thank you, Authentic, for interviewing us in this amazing wall. Uh, this was a great opportunity, and I hope that you can continue and go around and um, see what the Orlando community has to offer.
Shout out to Authentic. This is the type of energy that we need for 2019. Go ahead and follow your boy, man. He's doing big things.